All right, so who are the quarterbacks that are my guys for the 2024 fantasy football season? This is the Fantasy Sports Boss again. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'm uh, going to discuss the quarterbacks that are going to end up on the majority of my teams this year. Now, I've already drafted two of my three teams. My last draft is tomorrow evening, um, and I have already drafted two different quarterbacks. As you know, I took Patrick Mahomes in one league. I took Jalen Hurts in another. So just like last year, I've used a second or a third round pick on a quarterback. Um initially my plan was to avoid that and go value later on but i just you know i feel like the second round players this year are just not as um full of upside if you will like the derrick henry's of the world and there's still a lot of conjecture about puka nakua compared to cooper cup and their output is drake london going to take the next step so there's a lot of question marks to me in the second round which is why I'm still open on uh, Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, and Josh Allen in the second or third round this year. Now, as far as the other quarterbacks failing to get those guys who I'm targeting this year, I'm going to start with Joe Burrow. So Joe Burrow has been kind of like the QB7 uh, throughout the majority of the summer. <clears throat> now, I know he's had injury issues three of the last four years, but he's still arguably the best pure passer in the NFL. All right, Just throwing accuracy, throwing a catchable ball, Joe Burrow is, is almost without peer in the NFL. Of course, he's got Jamar Chase, who I is not going to be holding out week one from uh, all indications. T. Higgins, um, you know, the, the, they have a lot of weaponry still. And I think Joe Burrow, who's fallen now to QB7 in the majority of drafts, is a steal there because he was going last year, don't forget, as like, you know, QB4, QB5. So his price has come down, and I think that's a good value opportunity to jump on him there. Um, also, Kyla Murray. So Kyla Murray is starting to rise a little bit because there's been a lot of hype. I was on him back in June when he was, you know, QB 10, QB 11. He's sneaking into the QB 9 range now, QB 8 in some leagues. Um, but I still like uh, his his scrambling ability combined with his passing with a Marvin Harrison Jr., with a Trey McBride. So he's got high-end top-shelf weapons now in a new offensive system. So uh, I think the value is, is really solid there <clears throat> as well. I also had not closed the door on Dak Prescott. I've been kind of leery about Prescott the last couple of years, but he proved me wrong. Major, major comeback season last year. This is going to be a passing offense all the way. They have nothing at running back. I mean, hell, they're bringing in Dalvin Cook for a workout. Uh, so if you can get that CeeDee Lamb, Dak Prescott stack, that's going to be very profitable this year. Um, I, you know I love Jordan Love. He's another guy that I'm definitely going to target uh, in, in that QB 9, 10 range. <clears throat> he was a little touchdown heavy flukish heavy uh, uh touchdown rate that's what i'm trying to say at the end of last season want to see how that how, tra how that transpires this year but i do like jordan love a lot i think the value is fine i'm in on both of the rookie quarterbacks now here's the thing Jaden daniels is getting the majority of the attention he's going ahead of caleb williams of course it was the reverse in the nfl draft i think caleb williams has more value i think he's a better pure passer uh, certainly he's got the better uh, surrounding cast you know three top shelf wide receivers um, also pass catching back out of the backfield and DeAndre Swift, and, and he can run as well. He's not the athlete that Jaden Daniels is, but I think he's also built better. Jaden Daniels is very thin. I'm worried about injuries with Jaden Daniels. So I think Caleb Williams uh, is an even better value than Jaden Williams, uh, Jaden Daniels, excuse me. <clears throat> and then finally, Trevor Lawrence. I'm not going to quit Trevor Lawrence yet. I think Trevor Lawrence has all the talent in the world, and he's now QB 16, which is basically free. So uh, this is a guy who can pick up 350 yards on the ground. He's still got a very impressive supporting cast. His development was obviously derailed a little bit initially uh, with the Urban Meyer fiasco. Um, you know, Doug Peterson is is the right guy to get to get that career back on track there. Um, but uh, yeah, I do like Trevor Lawrence a lot. I think he's going to be just fine. Still a generational talent. Go get him. Take advantage of that value. Guys, hit that subscribe button. More videos coming soon.